Hi. Uh, so today I thought I would show you some of my like baby essentials. Um, mostly because I have this giant bag here. Um, because my best friend is having twins. So I decided to get her some of the things that I considered essential when I was pregnant with Harry or as a new mom with Harry. So this is no particular order. I definitely, now I had a winter baby, so you may not see all of these as essential. I thought really fuzzy jammies with feet. I thought these were super essential for my little man. Um, I also had sleep sacks. Um, I got one at, I think it was Carter's and it was a Sherpa sleep sack. Oh my God, I cried when he grew out of it because that thing kept him so nice and warm in December and January and February. Um, I like the cottony ones too. These are just cute little cloud patterns and cute things. Um, and these have little feet. I definitely think footed pajamas necessary for babies, for new babies. Um, although I bought her newborn size. I did not use newborn size with Harry because he was eight pounds, 11 ounces at birth. So we wore one newborn outfit, <laughs> one. And that was because that's what I brought to the hospital. So learn from me. Um, actually his coming home outfit, I bought it at, um, I bought it online. And if I can find the link, I will link it down below. It's the most beautiful sweater set for a baby and it's from the UK. So the sizing for it, they actually had newborn and then they had one month and two month, three month. And then from three month, they did like three to six. Um, so I bought a one month size because I assumed he was going to be a long baby, whether or not he was a large baby and it fit him like a glove. So that was wonderful. Um, one of the other things I have loved with Harry, he's not a big pacifier, pipey, whatever you call it kind of guy, but he really does love his Wub and Nub. I got my friend a uh, dog one because she loves dogs. Harry has three of them. <laughs> he has a cat. He has a penguin in his crib over here. This never leaves his room. And he has a dinosaur that stays in my car or my diaper bag. So that was a necessity. Also, um, it doesn't have to be this brand. I actually, for the life of me, I don't remember the name of the brand that I love, but cloth diapers, okay? Cloth diapers are amazing. I do not cloth diaper my baby like for diapers, but these make great burp cloths and Harry was a very spitty uppy baby for a while. These work like a charm instead of burp cloths. These were way better. So I would recommend those over burp cloths any day. Um, these I actually got from a friend at my baby shower. Um, and I did not think I was going to love them, but I do. To this day, I use them. And it's these uh, baby Frida. These are the Derma Fridas. I use them on his head. You can use them for, um, yeah, dry skin, cradle cap, eczema. So there's two of them in this case. Um, for my friend, this is perfect because she's having two babies, but you can use one on hair, one on skin, whatever you want, or save one for later. I think they're great. My son, now we use it on him in the bath and then he plays with it when we're done with it and it keeps him entertained. So. Oh my God. Okay. Bibs. Bibs, 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 bibs. All the bibs. Okay. Um, at his worst, we were going through like a bib an hour with Harry. And I am very particular about my bibs. So these ones are stay dry bibs. 
they are waterproof and um, it's because they have they have like two layers of fabric and then in the middle there's like I don't even know what it is in the middle but it keeps the underside of the bib drier and therefore keeps their clothes drier some of these bibs are just basically like washcloth fabric and it's just one piece of like washcloth fabric on them and that that does nothing once it gets wet it's wet so I like the plasticky bibs too but he has um eczema around his neck so these are the best of if you find like stay dry ones it doesn't have to be this brand these are green sprouts um, I have bought two packs of these and they're 10 packs for, I think it's 20 bucks. So it's like two bucks a bib and they're worth it. They, um, they're soft around the neck. So they're nice for him and they're waterproof. And that's so important. <laughs> so important. Um, this is for more when baby, I'm doing this completely out of order, like completely out of order. But when baby starts doing solids and foods, um, Harry started eating at four months. His pediatrician gave the okay for him to start food. And this was a great way for us to do fruits that weren't just pureed. And he still loves these. And these are, I've never found ones just like these except from this brand. So it's the OXO Tot. These are silicone self feeders. Um, I just call them his sucky things, <laughs> but the, the top itself is silicone. They make ones that are like mesh. And in my experience, they did not work as well. Harry got teeth really early. So he has eight teeth right now and he's had eight teeth, uh, since six months old. So for him, his teeth were getting caught in the mesh, whereas these are silicone and they have all these, I don't know if you can say they have all of these little um, holes in them. So we put peaches, pears, oranges, pineapple, um, avocado, watermelon, bananas. Oh my God, this kid loves his bananas. And you just put whatever in here, you close it up. It's really easy to use and he just sucks away. So he can eat a whole banana. You just probably a banana will fit in here like one banana four times <clears throat> and um I have him trained him like do you want more of it do you want more and he'll hand it to me and then he gets really annoyed that it takes too long to refill but amazing and they come in two packs I have two two packs so I have four of them and we use them basically at every meal I got my friend another woman up for a different baby you know Two babies, two woven them. I'm just moving the bag up to my lap. Um, thermometer. Just this is just a basic rectal thermometer. Um, thermometers are important. I have a couple of different ones. I don't have a super preference. I do love this though. This is the Newbie um, banana, teething banana. They make a toothbrush one that Harry really likes right now, but he has like six of these. <laughs> no, um, probably four. He has like four of these around my house. There's one that's always in his crib and one that stays in my diaper bag and two around the house. Yeah. Um, and it has like the mouth of the banana has all these little nubs on it. There's a couple little nubs down here at the edge. He bites the arms. He bites the whole thing. And it's so nice when he's teething, which he's been doing since four months because this kid keeps getting teeth. Um, so I bought two of those. My friend. Okay. Ignore the brand because as someone who used to work for this organization, I I'm not the biggest fan, but a nasal aspirator. Oh my God. This is the hospital style one. The hospital, my hospital at least gave me one and it genuinely saved my son's life. 
I'll do a story time on it at some point, but um, he was 10 days old and he was choking on formula. He was aspirating the formula and I had to use one of these to suck all the mucus and formula out of his nose and his throat. Without this, my son would not be alive today. Firmly believe that. So after that experience, I have one in my car, one in my diaper bag, one in my um, changing table, one down here in our room, and I have one in his bucket of toys at the kitchen table. So I have them everywhere and I swear by these. These are genuine lifesavers. Now this one, um, this brand is kind of cool because it has a little thing at the bottom that if you suck out a lot, you can open the bottom and rinse it out. I don't think that's the most necessary. I do have this one. I have the hospital one. I have a different brand. I have them all and I think they're all amazing. But I do say I like the small one, the nasal one, um, especially for new babies because it just gets it. It's very concentrated. And to this day, I still use it on him for like pulling out boogers and stuff. Lifesaver. Um, also a lifesaver for my very gassy um, milk allergy baby is grape water. I got recommended the Mommy's Bliss brand by my pediatrician. So that's the one that I use, but other people make it. Um, this is just the original, it deals with gas, colic, fussiness. And we use this every night. We still use this every night because Harry is a very gassy guy and um, it just really helps him. When he was younger, we actually did grape and Mylocon. Mylocon gas relief. This stuff, if you have a baby who has a lot of problems burping and um, a lot of discomfort, I swear by this. I love Mylocon. Um, we used to do the dose before his bottle, every bottle. And he would get a dose, he would get his bottle. And then I think it's like 10 minutes after this. I forget how, I forget how long after his bottle, but you wait a certain amount of time and then you do grape. And for a while, that was like his dose every time he ate because he was very gaggy, very spitty, very um, burpy, very gassy. So for him, that was a really necessary thing. And if you have a baby like mine, I would 100% recommend. This bottle is 100 doses. So this lasts a while. Um, Aquaphor. You can do the tub, you can do the jar. This is the diaper rash specific. So this is, um, it's white, it's kind of thick. You can use regular Aquaphor or Vaseline. I tend to like Aquaphor better. Um, I always have Aquaphor in the house because I have tattoos and it's the best thing for new tattoos. They recommend Aquaphor. And I find it works really well. Like I said, he has eczema in like his chin and neck area. And he gets some eczema on his back. And this is really great for that. It's also really great if you have diaper rash knock on wood Harry has never had really bad diaper rash but yeah it's great <laughs> I'm just piling everything up on my chest also a necessary thing infant Tylenol Harry is teething like I said and this is absolutely completely necessary for a teething baby I, um, I got a chart from my pediatrician about dosage and I just follow that. It's on my fridge and, you know, I just follow that, but I have it down here and I have it upstairs. So it's wherever he is, if he really needs it. I definitely don't go Tylenol crazy. I don't like to, you know, fill him with medication that he doesn't need but if he's having a really bad night especially with his teething pain we definitely like 
we take some Tylenol and it definitely takes the edge off the teething. Um, my poor boy. This poor kid is has been teething for like four months because he just keeps getting teeth and he gets them together. He doesn't just get one tooth at a time. He'll get like two or three teeth at a time. Um, what else do I need? I have a, I have a list. <laughs> so I did talk about sleep sacks. Not that I have any with me because one, he's too big now. He's nine months old wearing 18 plus month clothing. So they don't make a lot of really long sleep sacks anymore. Although I got one at, it was Old Navy or Gap that goes to like a 2T and it's very long. So when it gets cooler here, he's gonna be back in that. It's not Sherpa, it's just cotton, but it's still a little bit more warmth for him. Another thing, I don't know if I can get it. <laughs> this right here, this is the, um, the hatch sound machine and light. It's not plugged in, I had to unplug it to pick it up, but I swear by this thing. I sleep with white noise anyway. That's just something I've done for years and years and years. So I knew I needed a white noise machine for Harry. And this one you can set, you hold down here, and it also has an app. So I have the app on my phone. You just set it um, to different sounds. We sleep with rain sounds and this whole body part lights up. Um, there's also switches on the bottom, not that I use those, but you can change the intensity of the light and the volume. I do all of that from my app. The only thing I do on the physical thing is turn it on and off, but you can also do that from your app. And you can put multiple ones on your app. You just set it up, which is super cool. Um, but we love our hatch use it every single night and I have a little um like Amazon uh, sound machine upstairs so when he takes naps upstairs in his stroller we have that going just to drown out some of the noise of you know the neighborhood or because we have a window literally right here and his crib is right there so they're really close to each other probably six feet um not that we live on a busy street, but we do live about three blocks from a fire station and a police department. So it just helps drown out some of the noise and it's soothing. I'm just a fan. So this is stuff that I don't have with me, but if I find the links to my stuff, I will link them down below. Bucket car seat. I know you need a car seat to leave the hospital with a baby and you know, to transport a baby ever. But some brands, like my favorite brand is Graco, not gonna lie, so Graco, shout out. Um, but uh, some brands have like the car seats that grow with you, so that's what's in my car right now. I have the Graco 4-in-1, I forget what it's called, but um, I will definitely link that one down below because I love this car seat right now. But it's not a bucket. So I bought the Click Connect 30, whatever the, the code for it is. It's called the 30 bucket. Um, and he used that until he was six months old. At that point, he outgrew it lengthwise and weight wise. No, lengthwise, not weight wise. Because I think it's 25 pounds. It's either 25 or 30 pounds for the weight. Um, but it's 30 inches long. And he got to 30 inches at six months old. So we had to take him out of that and set up the car seats in my car and my mom's car. But I had one bucket, I had two bases. So I had a base in my mom's car, a base in my car, and you just click them in, click them out, take them with you. Love bucket car seats. Wish he was still in a bucket car seat would make my life a lot easier. Um, and to go along with that, I don't even know where mine is off the top of my head. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so I ran and got it. Along with the bucket car seat, and especially if you're breastfeeding, which I did not, don't at me, is um, a cover. This is from Milk Snob. And this is Toy Story. 
because if you can't already tell, his nursery is Toy Story themed. So I bought him a lot of Toy Story stuff. He loves Woody so much. It's so cute. Um, but this, it's this big fabric. It's like a big circle scarf. And honestly, now that he doesn't use it, that's how I'm gonna use it for a while. Um, until my next kid when I need it again but it basically you can wear it like this and it covers you so you can discreetly breastfeed or what I used it for way more because I didn't breastfeed was um, over his car seat so the handle comes through here and this goes over the whole car seat and it's stretchy. And especially I had a baby in the winter, he's a December baby. So I had a little one during flu season and then he was only three months old when coronavirus started. Great. Um, so if I needed to take him out, cause I'm a single mom and sometimes you need to go to the grocery store and you need to take your kid with you. Um, this stretches over him and protected him. And it allowed him to sleep while we were in stores too, because he didn't have all the, the craziness and the noise, which was really nice. Um, this is completely like different too, but um, this is like those alphabet tiles that go on the floor. This is the whole alphabet. Um, they are foam letters, ABC foam letters. <laughs> um, and these, we currently have one of these down in our living room right now. We took up the rug and we put these down because these are, they're thick foam. And Harry is crawling. So if he falls and like taps his head on this, a lot less painful than a rug. Um, because a rug isn't as thick. Although down here we do have carpeting in our room, so we don't need it for down here. Um, we bought these whole 26 letters of the alphabet at Home Depot for 20 bucks. So we bought two of them. So we can put one in the playroom too. Again, I had a winter baby, so snowsuit, definitely a must. I put his snowsuit away, obviously, because it's August, um, almost September, but we definitely like traveled in our snow in in his snowsuit he came home in his snowsuit because the only snow we got in the month of december in the state of massachusetts was december 3rd which was the day he was born so by the time he came home a couple days later there was still some snow on the ground and it was still bitter cold so he needed his snowsuit i bought him a zero to three month snowsuit a three month snowsuit and a six month snowsuit and he wore all of them because he grew incredibly fast. Um, he's a very long baby and he's got very broad shoulders. So he grew out of things really quickly. Um, this is just something I truly love is the Cuddle and Kind dolls. He has his Benedict one right now, Benedict the bunny, which I will link below because I think he's adorable. And um, this one I actually bought for or my mom bought for me for the baby that I lost. So Sebastian belongs to my angel baby, baby Jude. And um, Harry sometimes plays with him. He's not the biggest fan of Sebastian, but he loves Benedict Bunny. So he's got Benedict right now because he's taking a nap. I just like that Sebastian is born on my birthday, May 19th, and he's got a crown. So in Harry's birth announcement pictures, he didn't have Benedict yet because Santa brought him Benedict for Christmas, his first Christmas. So we took his um, birth announcement picture with uh, Sebastian and he was wrapped in, uh, what's it called? A blue swaddle, kind of this color blue, a little bit darker. And he had a little gold crown hat on. So it was super cute. And if you don't know about Cuddle and Kind, oh my God, I love these dolls so much. This is not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor me Cuddle and Kind, hit me up. <laughs> um, 
the bracelet he's wearing says one doll equals 10 meals. So these dolls, this is the small one, but they're a really good size for the small one. I haven't seen the big one in person, but um, the small one is $55, I want to say, American. And you buy one doll and the company donates 10 meals to kids in need around the world. And um, they are handmade dolls in, I think it's Peru. And they are like, look at his little fur, look at the inside of his ears, all this detail. He's absolutely beautiful. We've washed Benedict a couple times because Harry loves him and spits on him and drools on him. And yeah, and he washes really nice. So I'm a big fan of these. They definitely make a great Christmas present for his birthday newborn baby present if you want to spend that much what else um furniture wise which is stuff that one I couldn't lift to show you if I wanted to and two a lot of this he's outgrown and put away um the little bouncy seats that you like put the baby in and it you can like cap it and bounce them oh my god he lived in this thing we <laughs> We put ours on the kitchen table so he was never left unsupervised in it just safety first but if we were sitting having like dinner we would put him in it on the table so he was with us and when he started eating solids we put him in his high chair like the week after he started solids but he spent the first week in his because we had to go to our storage unit and get the high chair um he spent the first week eating solids in this thing and he would just sit and we would spoon feed him. Oh my God, he loved it. The day he outgrew that was so sad. And now, you know, he's in his high chair and oh my God, so cute. Obviously high chair, necessity too. Um, I have the Graco Duo Diner high chair. Love that thing. It's so easy to work with. Oh my God. Um, I love it so much that I actually bought it. My mom and I bought it for my aunt's house. So she can use it for her grandkids and we can use it when we go visit them in Pennsylvania. So it's that good. And, um, a swing. Now some parents don't need a swing. Some babies don't like them. My baby loved his for a while. Um, I, I would put him in there to like nap while I did homework and stuff when he was itty bitty and, you know, cuddle him with a blanket, strap him in, let him go. And he would nap for a good, like, 30, 40 minutes in that thing. Or, um, and stuff like that. So he really loved his, another Graco thing I had. I had the Slim Spaces one because some of those things, oh my god, some swings are massive. Like, I don't know how people have room in their houses for them. This one is really, like, it's got slim legs. It folds. So it's like a teepee kind of thing, like the arm, the legs are, and the swing hangs down here. And you can just fold it up. So it is folded up in a big trash bag in our storage unit. Um, also love those activity jumpers. Oh my God, I have videos of this kid jumping like a madman in his. He loved it so much. And I truly believe it is what strengthened his legs that he is almost ready to walk right now at almost nine months old. He'll be nine months on Thursday. Today's Monday. So, um, yeah, he loved that thing. He is currently still using his walker. I love his walker. Um, everything I got for him is very gender neutral. I wish, part of me wishes, I love his walker so much, so don't get me wrong. I love it. I'm going to use it for all my kids. But... I would have loved to see him as a person in one of those walkers that looks like a Ford F-150 because he's such a car kid. He loves cars so much and the way he like rams into things, it just would have been a sight and very much him to be in one of those, but he loves his walker and he, he loves to like walk around and pull on drawers and we have like dangerous cabinets and stuff locked like cleaning supply cabinets and knife drawers and stuff locked but like our paper plate and like paper napkin and stuff drawer he can open the that um 
and he loves doing it. And he'll go over to his bureau upstairs where he has like his clothes and he just opens and closes the drawers in his walker. He's such a, <laughs> he's a crazy man. But yeah, I love a walker. I know some people have mixed emotions about them. For me, it was the right choice. For my son, it was the right choice. He loves it. And the first time we put him in it, he like, <laughs> he could hold his neck up. He's been holding his neck up almost since birth. Like he's been really great about holding his neck, but he couldn't hold his body straight in it. So we had to put like a pillow behind him or a rolled up blanket behind him to keep him forward enough that his feet could touch the ground. It was really cute. And now he's on the highest setting of it. So we're gonna outgrow that thing really soon. And that's really sad. Um, and another thing I would recommend to any parent is a shopping cart cover, especially now in a COVID and post COVID world. I don't want him touching like anything on the shopping cart. So when we go out now that he's no longer in his bucket seat and we can't use my lovely milk snob cover over him, we have a shopping cart cover. It takes a minute to put in. My mom and I aren't the best at it, but you put it over the whole seat, the handle part, and you plop him in and buckle him like the shopping cart buckle comes through and you buckle him. And yeah, he, he doesn't know the difference. It keeps any of his toys with him because he puts everything in his mouth. So it keeps them clean because they're on something that's his. He can put his water next to him and it doesn't fall out. So it's, it's really great. Um, so those are like, I think that's it. Oh, this is like a clothing item. I haven't talked a ton about clothing other than like the pajamas and stuff. For summer, I don't know if I would do a newborn at summer in this because I don't have a, a summer baby, but he was six months old when summer started, five, six months old. So I put him in so many of those one piece romper things that have the buttons and the buttons at the legs. Oh my God, they're the most convenient things in the whole world. Instead of doing like a t-shirt and shorts where you have to tuck things in and all of that, this is one piece. It's easy as crap. And oh my God, I love them so much. I have them, I have a ton of them. And he has basically spent his summer living in them. So I would definitely recommend those to anybody especially if you have a boy, because I think boy clothes are really, really hard. But I love those. And um, I think that's it for like my newborn or baby necessities. This is probably up to like six months old, because now we're in six to 12 range, or I'm currently in six to 12 range, and I don't know what my necessities for that age are yet, except a lot of toys. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are things that I would recommend to any parent. Obviously you can see I bought my friend a lot of these things because they're amazing. They are super amazing, especially, I'm just gonna say it again, especially cloth diapers. Um, yeah, they say right on them, best choice for diaper liners and burp cloths. They're the best burp cloths I've ever used. And I have burp cloths, like I have regular burp cloths and they don't compare to these. I just love them. Um, so yeah, that is what I re would recommend for your new baby, for your little baby. And uh, if you have anything that you would recommend or if you have any questions, definitely comment down below. Let's start sharing as moms, what we really love for babies. Um, I'm sure there's probably something I missed. Like I said, I did bottle feed, but I don't have any of his little baby bottles. I have like his eight ounce ones. I use the, what's it called brand, but I will link them down below too. And I really do love them. Um, but I didn't want to like get into bottles versus breast in this thing. So I didn't, mention those as a baby necessity because some people don't need them but that's everything I think you should have or that I really needed for my baby along with you know four dozen trillion books 
literally, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you that that is his bookcase. And it is full of baby books. Absolutely jam packed. And we read them all. We love them. So I might actually do a video at some point of like my favorite baby books or our favorite baby books, but yeah. Anyway, comment down below. Uh, look for links down below. Anything I can find, I will put down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.